Can you extend the expiration date of an already expired GPG key? Let's say I add an expiration date to a GPG slash PGP key, then for some reason I'm unable to extend the expiration date of the key before its time is up. Assuming I still have access to the private key, and the public key is only expired, not been revoked, can I still renew it? According open best practices on riseup.net, archived one, yes, it is possible, and there don't seem to be any recommendations against it. People think that they don't want their keys to expire, but you actually do. Why? Because you can always extend your expiration date, even after it has expired. This expiration is actually more of a safety valve or dead man switch that will automatically trigger at some point. If you have access to the secret key material, you can untrigger it. The point is to set up something to disable your key in case you lose access to it, and have no revocation certificate. One. The link now points to an Internet Archive entry as the original one is dead. 2. Yes, you can renew it at any time. Here's how to do it. Now you're in the GPG console. By default, you're working on the primary key, if you need to update a subkey, now you can set the expiration for the selected key. Now that you've updated your key, you can send it out. And, yes, having an expiration date for your keys is a very good idea. You should never really have a key with no expiration date. If it's compromised, it could be used forever. Since I don't want to hijack the excellent answer by Sauce McBoss, here's a quicker way that corresponds to the method shown there. GPGKV with subkey fingerprints, equals, GPG list secret keys verbose with subkey fingerprints, since you can only change the expiry of keys you own anyway. Note down the primary key fingerprints you want to change. For each fingerprint recorded above do. First command changes primary key expiry, second one the expiry for all subkeys, use a subkey fingerprint instead of if desired. Dollar key it is the id that unambiguously identifies a key. Dollar duration is a number of days, default, zero for no expiration or a number directly followed by w, m, or y to mean weeks, months and years respectively. Hint, if like me you prefer some clean expiry dates, you can use the fake time utility to invoke, GPG quick set expire, to control the exact time of day for the expiry. Otherwise this will be governed by your current time of day. Note, may only work reliably if your primary key and subkeys haven't been expired and are deemed valid. Tested with, GPG, Nuke, 2.2.19. Respective part from the man page GPG1. Quick set expire FPR expire, vertical bar subfers. With two arguments given, directly set the expiration time of the primary key identified by FPR to expire. To remove the expiration time zero can be used. With three arguments and the third given as an asterisk, the expiration time of all non-revoked and not yet expired subkeys are set to expire. With more than two arguments and a list of fingerprints given for subfers, all non-revoked subkeys matching these fingerprints are set to expire. Under Ubuntu, it seems you can manage your keys with a graphical interface by searching for the keys and passwords application, press the super key and type keys or etc. Once it launches, click on nuke keys on the left, and then on the key you wish to update. 
You can now click on the calendar icon if it's expired to update the expiration date. It seems this GUI can also be launched from the command line by typing Seahorse.